my initial thoughts <laughs> when I first read the script um, was <clears throat> it's like it's about time, you know. Mm. Uh, I feel like it's a story that resonates, but hasn't been told like this in like the package that's delivered. And I think a great film is like like Chan was saying earlier, like entertaining, but getting a message across, but it's still fun. And this really does all those things. Certainly unique, very different. Um, I found it when I read the script to be exciting and unexpected. So there were so many twists and turns in it that I, uh, I really enjoyed that. And it was Zoe, so I was thrilled to, to, to come on board. So Jess plays um, Frida's best friend. Um, roommate, and you guys had some great chemistry. A, yeah, we did, right? You really, yeah, it's genuinely We're a good vibe. Great. You seem they're yeah. gals you want to hang out with. I love the invisible glass thing, yeah, it's yeah. so cute. All really cute, it's really special. Um, they're cater waiters, you know, she's like an actress, obviously in a bad relationship, toxic relationship, she keeps going back to. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I think they're in awe by the fantasy of Slater King and the world that he represents. And they're excited to even get a glimpse into it, for better or for worse. A little window into a little that window. side of yeah. hoopla. <laughs> hoopla. Speaking of hoopla, yeah. Vic, Vic is hoopla. He's Mr. Hoopla. <laughs> yeah, that's who he is. Um, yeah, he's uh, Slater's right-hand man in his own mind, I think. Yeah. You know, because I think Slater's he is kind of in charge of his own deal. Yeah. Um, what was the best part about making this film? I'm um, getting to meet this whole group, you know? Ensemble movies are kind of far and few between sometimes where you're really in these group mentalities and getting to shoot group scenes and party elements and stuff like that. And yeah. so being on location and all that, you know, they don't happen very often. So when they do and everyone is rad, it's like a real gift. And we had both those things. Mm. Yeah. It was a great uh, group of people, wonderful ensemble, headed by Channing, and then Zoe just being the uh, phenomenal leader that she is, uh, just really brought together a great, great group. And we all wanted to deliver, I think, as much as we possibly could totally. for her and, and give her everything that we, give, give her all for her. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people say they get anxious when they watch it. They do. I got anxious when I watched yeah. it. I mean, the first time I watched it, Even I was when like, you know what's gonna no, happen. Oh, God, yeah. get out of there. I know. It's one of those types of things. It's one of those. And then, like, also, yell. you're like, yeah, get it. Yes, like, yes, yeah. yes. There were moments where it's like, ooh, and the, yeah. you know, the right person gets it. And those are, those are, that's what I go to the movies for. Honestly. And you want to be in a theater for yeah, that. Totally, because you experience because, it with other people, the tension and yes, stuff. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, you're like hitting that person next to you, and you yeah. gotta be quiet, and, and yeah, you really gotta pay attention. Mm -hmm. Those are fun, that's what we go to the movies for. Totally. Totally. Yeah. The sound design, which sounds nerdy, in this movie is so on point that when you see it in a big theater, yeah. you really are, like it's not like uh, jump scares, but yeah. it creates this like, quality of the film. It's actually oh, part of the storytelling, I it think. Is. Some yeah. of the sound cues are so good. So good. That music, yeah. when it's the shots on Liz's face. Yes, and the just, same song, yeah. It's so oh, good. right? <laughs> gotta see it. You gotta I see know it. know what we're talking about. Know. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I hadn't read anything like this before. That was sort of my initial thought. And everything about this movie sort of scared me and also challenged me and it made me want to do it so much more, um, yeah. And the fact that it was, you know, written by Zoe and it was going to be directed by Zoe, I was like, oh, this is going to be, this is going to be special, and I felt pretty safe. I thought it was intimidating, and I liked intimidating. It was a little scary because the subject matters a lot to tackle. So I was like, okay, cool. I want to be scared. I want to feel something. So I was excited to do it. Sarah is an ex hot survivor babe. Um, and she comes into the island. We're calling it an island. Yeah, right? it's an yeah, island. Yeah, it's an island. Um, she comes into this island with like very specific wants and desires. And they're quite selfish. And as it sort of unravels everything that sort of happens, she, she sort of starts shifting her, her objectives through it. I play uh, Cody, who's um, uh, Channing's personal chef, um, and uh, uh, 
Slater's personal chef and best friend. Uh, so I just knew that I needed to have a rapport with him. So when I met him, I was really happy that he was a very chill, fun dude who takes his work very seriously but didn't take himself very seriously, and I'm the same way. So, uh, yeah, I just knew that I had to be his kind of right-hand man um, and felt right, just felt natural, felt easy. I think with Zoe, and I think she's sort of found this really cool place as a director, at least for me, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Zoe is a true actor's director, but also a very visual director, and I've never experienced those two sort of merging together. It's either you're a visual director and you kind of have to take a step back a little bit on performances, or it's so performative that, you know, that maybe the visual aesthetics sort of take a step back. I think Zoe is a beautiful combination of both. Um, I think she's really smart um, and really empathetic when directing her actors. You know, she's an actress as well and knows and has been in our shoes, right? So I think she makes a really safe set and really comfortable set for us to explore and go to the places that we had to go to. She is uh, very thoughtful. She was very understanding of what it's like to be an actor and just communications, everything. And she was just really good at making uh, you feel um, like you could ask questions. It was safe. She let you have ideas. Um, and she, yet she was also very stern and knew what she wanted, which you want in a director. You want somebody that knows what they want. And often when somebody writes the script, like she did, they already know what they want. So there's no confusion. And she was very confident. And I was secure in that because you want that in a director. Smart and secure. I think they're really going to go through a lot of emotions when watching this movie. And what I really wish is for just for people to sit around and have a conversation about it. That's, that's what I wish. Yeah, most good art is that. Most good art, you go home talking about it, and years later, it still will bring up, like, I wonder what this meant and this. And I feel like this movie is one of those mm -hmm. movies. 